Hey guys, Andy here, back again with another video, and this one is uh, going to be a, sort of a mini let's play of this new Dawn of Fantasy MMO RTS in an online persistent world, and we've heard that before. <laughs> but um, anyway, a lot of people, uh, if you read on some of the forums, don't believe that MMO and RTS actually go together, but don't know, I think this just might pull it off, and uh, we're going to have a quick look at it anyway. Um, there's uh, three modes here, you've got single player, which is like scenarios, and uh, skirmish mode, then you've got kingdom wars, which is like a tactical map, where you, uh, a bit like civilization, you know, where you build up your, your cities and your armies, and then you um, attack other armies and stuff, and I think uh, that... Uh, Fight other players on this one as well, but the meat and bones of the game is this one, the online kingdom, which uh, I already started. I, I, I started making a video earlier on, but I messed it up and I think the sound didn't work. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go straight to where um, I was in that video rather than go through all the intro again, because basically it's just um, y you know you start off in like a this is my place here, Rudland, which is a real name of a place near where I live, which has a castle, by the way. And um, I, 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 as I say, I went through all the intro before, and uh, rather than go through all that again, I'll just explain a little bit as I go along anyway. And I've just, just done my first quest, because, um, yeah, you get quests in this game like you do in an MMO, and you've got a little quest panel like you do in an MMO, and um, explain... XP and stuff. Um, so it does take a while to load, uh, but not too bad. This is my colony in the Bolforosel region. And I must say the game looks very pretty, although I do have to run it on low settings. Um, uh, if I put it any higher, it's like. Welcome! Illusal Halfield glows bright when you are here. It's like a slideshow, but it's not too bad uh, on low settings. Um, you can scroll around, right mouse button, hold it down, and it slides the map. Middle mouse spins it round or zooms in and out. Or you can use the keys to do that. And as you can see, I don't know whether you can see in this video, I'm already getting a little bit of uh, lag already. Uh, they really need to to um, sort these issues out because um, it, it does make it a bit of a chore to play. Um, you, you know, you get very frustrated when you're trying to move the units around and stuff. Um, uh, I have uh, a few units of druids, and what I did before I logged out before, I built some druids, because they are the guys that uh, get your resources for you. But I chose elves because they have like a symbiosis with the, with magic in the forest, and they they get sort of a lot of their resources automatically whereas I don't think if you're if you play orcs or humans that you do but I'm not 100% sure on that uh, paused on me there a minute now it's um it's not behaving very well at the moment not conducive to a good video experience so anyway I'm gonna get these druids off working and I'm gonna get them to collect food because I the basically thing to, must eat. to do here is to to grow um, y y your colony because it takes so long to to get resources I think the best way I can figure out is to to get as many uh, druids as we can um, and I've got another one idle there see where I'm going get them mining some stone, I think. Gifts and from Muta. Once you set them off on their task, they'll go off and do that automatically. But there again, they haven't moved, so let's see if I can make them move. As you can see, this is very jerky, so um, what I'm going to do is I am going to... Is that gold or stone? Let's have a look gold mine. So I've already got, let's see if we can find some stone for these guys to go mine. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, I think what I might do is I might uh, log in. Ah, hang on, has it, has it improved a little bit there? Maybe. Is this stone here? No. Right. Piretos, Mali. Try again. I'll move them along and then set them to get stone. Uka for Goderta. No, and they're still not moving. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Debs, if you're listening or watching. <laughs> These guys aren't doing what they're supposed to. So, okay, well, well, I'll tell you what, if I right-click on the bushes, Uka for I'll do it manually. Set the mine and getting some food. Here's one of my units. My Krakio uh, is sharp. These are my sentry, which are soldier units, and I have some archers somewhere. My bow will bring storm. And there they are. The Albolita beckons. And I think, yeah, now... Uh, I think there's another mission to go and kill some humans over here, but I will uh, first of all speak to uh, the quest giver. Nothras is his name. And he should be. Ah, Molita. Let's see if he's got any more. Let's see if he's got any more quests for me. Okay, yeah, he has. This guy gives you all your quests, and you go back and you hand them into him. See, it's stalled again there. So basically, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log out and come back to this when I can get a better connection. So anyway, thanks for watching this short one, and I'll try and fix this and I'll get back as soon as I can.